potential in this mid lane, so... We'll see Resolution looking to go for this uh, top top level 1 bounty room, but here comes Secret with 3 heroes in top. They want to go in for the kill. It's Resolution dead. gets hit by the stun. It's, the Cogs is zoning out the rest of the heroes. Resolution gets the... Well, gets killed off by the Lestrek, who gets the first blood. Bounty room did go the way of Team, <coughs> team Secret, but it's not really worth it. Man. They're going to lose the bounty hunter in return. Secret! Push back, Arteezy looking for one more on the Disruptor, but not going to get it. Blocked off. This is completely free and open jungle. It's not quite as fast. Top lane, meanwhile, Zai going in. He's going to get a fight into Silent. They actually TP Arteezy up here. Arteezy's rotated with the help of Kuro. It looks like they're going to get a couple of kills to go their way. Both Disruptor and Storm go down just for a clockwork. S4, the ball lightning from Silent, wants S4, he's not finished the mech yet, he has got it back at base, but it's not on his hero, and as a result, S4 in some trouble, the magic missile will not even, box. he gets the last hit as Venge picks up the Razor kill, S4's second death of this game, and Fairly quick Zai's succession, but here comes Secret. Yep, Zai comes in from behind, gets the hook shot. The Cogs push, actually gonna miss Arteezy. On the front line, dishing out some damage here. SF Requiem pushes back Secret. Arteezy on the run, out of mana and low in HP as well. Zai also low in mana here. And it looks like Silent gonna be forced back two, three tracks now up for Team Secret as they chase a bit further forward. The bouncing Shuriken, one, two, three it hits. As does the Split Earth onto Yoku. And Zai gets up a nice hog push. Silent falls forward, but he's out of mana now. He wants to kill on Zai. Black Hole comes out from Puppy, catches two. They're both tracked up as well. Kuro looking to clean up here. Gets the Shadow Fiend to start things off and Secret. Yeah, and they're going to try and get a glimpse here with Aloha Dance. It'd be a huge kill if they could get Arteezy here. Puppy around the side here, going to turn, throw a Malefice here. But Arteezy now in the middle of things. Has a Midnight Pulse for protection as well. The Static Storm, he gets out of it. And Plasma Field comes in. They've got the mech as well on their side. Arteezy, beyond godlike. A track kill going to come onto the Vengeful Spirit of Kuro can catch up. And you betcha he can. That's three for nothing. Yoku trying to bring down Puppy in the wall vacuum. But he has not got the damage needed. And that's two. So they could get a quick TP on this one. But it looks like, okay, here we go. TP's come out. No glyph, but it's a triple TP. Resolution gonna wind up the Requiem holding on to a DD timer right. Yep, it'll catch up Kuro, but not enough damage to get the kill there. Puppy pipes himself up, has the wand, gonna go for the black hole, but he dies first. Didn't even pop the wand in time. S4 on the front line, looking for the Shadow Fiend, will get the kill, almost goes down to the Death Requiem. As Clockwork hook shots forward, he's gonna chase down the back lines here. S4 survives, and this is track kills all over the place for Team Secret. Kuro's chasing down the Venge. Meanwhile, Lestrak is chasing down the Darks here up north, and looks like Darks are gonna survive, but it's Four kills going the way of Team Secret. Much it looks like Secret just going to take the towers down one by one. Because I'm going to have to quickly reconnect again, Winter. So you're on your own. Don't panic. Be What's right the... by your side once What's you get here. So Secret is going to be sieging the base, and Empire doesn't have the blink. Oh, they're going to hook and kill the Storm Spirit with the Orchid on the Cloudlord. So he did not expect that at all. Secret's going to just continue to siege the base with the track on resolution. Split up to follow things up. The vacuum they're not gonna do so much, only catching one hero and Puppy is gonna try and run up and threaten to use his back hole even though it was still on cooldown. But everyone is running away from Puppy in, in fear of the incoming black hole and Aegis is gonna be popped. Puppy's a big scary one. guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> scary in game and out of game as uh here we go, we're back okay. in the game. Arteezy still He's so sorry, over his head, actually. Oh he's gonna get glimpsed back. Boost hole. To travel back in. Oh, that's gonna maybe salvage things here. Puppy's on the front lines, has a black hole, but without the less track. He got counted here. Puppy gonna glimmer himself on in. The vacuum slows down his initiation, but with the midnight pulse, this is not a fight. Empire really wanna take the plasma field. Finish off. Yo, gets the bouncing Shrooken! Gets him back at base! Zygo's hooking in, but will not finish off the Storm Spirit. Has Orchid available, but doesn't look like he's gonna be able to do too much. And Another bouncing Shrooken! Almost gets the kill there. Roshan is gonna be just like having another four minutes, I guess. Well, they're not gonna wait for Roshan. They're just gonna go running back in. And it looks like the Venge is the one they want. Out. Easy, gonna hit the stun with a lightning storm. That's another track kill going their way. Meanwhile, Clockwork hooked in on Silent. Did get the Orchid off, but they need the follow up damage to bring him down. During this, a black hole to secure it. Puppy takes one more for his team, and with that, 
I imagine the GG call coming any second now as more tracks get laid out and Yoki gonna be the third to fall on Team Empire and there's the GG call. Team Empire get beaten down in game two. A 30,000 net worth difference there at the end of this game. That was so one-sided.